Welcome back, guys, to another film room here uh, on the Stampede Blue uh, Colts cast uh, YouTube page. Uh, looking at another guy here that I wanted you guys to uh, be keeping an eye on here is uh, Taekwon Lewis. Really an impressive guy. Showed out at the Senior Bowl. Uh, has a lot, of, in my opinion, a lot to offer. Uh, so it should be somebody that's, and he's even somebody that's kind of rising in the ranks right now as we kind of speak about it uh, through the draft process. A lot of people are starting to notice him a little bit. He, they were high on him last year, and they've become even more uh, impressed with, you know, kind of the stuff that he's showing. He, like I said, he showed out in the Senior Bowl, was a part of at least two sacks, um, ended up stopping uh, Rashad Penny, Rashad Penny, Rashad Penny in the backfield, and uh, just an all around pretty impressive guy. He's going to be able to help some team. Hopefully, the Colts possibly uh, would be my hope, obviously. But uh, to be able to to get to the quarterback, show that he's got some four down lineman ability, defensive end possibility for the Colts going to a four three scheme with the new regime coming in, the coaching staff and stuff. So that's kind of who I've been focusing on lately. Uh, for for you guys kind of looking at some edge rushers we'll look at some other positions here soon but for right now I wanted to look at some of these guys now um, he's number 59 place for Ohio State and uh, you'll be able to see him do do his thing here so let's get let's get this bad boy underway uh, looking at him right there just a little bit he's able to get his hands out you guys can see through this see now there on that one he lines up interior but look what he's doing to the lineman here getting him completely out of off onto the roller skates I mean basically rolling him back pressuring getting some sort uh, of pressure inside from the interior of the pocket and that quarterback's got his eyes on it he sees that okay so that's one of the big things that you need Colts have been struggling with interior pass rush this guy has the ability to give them that plus some edge rush ability some pass rush sacks uh, so on and so forth so watch this gets there gets a hand up very good at that as well he's not always going to bat the ball down but he is going to be able to, there he stunts, not, nothing effective in that one, but still it's there. Look at him, strong at the point of attack, goes and hunts the quarterback immediately once he gets into these, these situations. Now here he's on the edge again. Um, like I said, he gets his hands in the passing lanes, not always going to knock the ball down, but he's always making the quarterback work for what he's getting. So let's check this one out. Gets in there, quick. He's got good hands, good release. He's able to disengage. Can line up on the interior here. See, look, I mean, just always he's he's relentless going after the quarterback. You see him a lot lined up on the interior, but I think that he's got a lot of defensive end in a 4-3 to his game. He's quick to get the edge. Like I said, long arms, good pressure from both situations. Um, here you go again from a 4-3. There it is causing the quarterback to throw quick relentless see look at him constantly going after the quarterback down not much there but you guys see these are just plays I mean interior that's taken on a center right there I mean you're not going to be able to get that out of a lot of different guys constantly being able to get through here on the pocket dropping into coverage here you see that he's got that kind of ability as well Lining up over as a zero tech here. Still gets in pressure with only three linemen. Good hands, quick hands. Look at that. Look at that. I want to see that again. Not this one, but you can see three guys there. He's still getting in the middle. This one here. Watch him. He's got these linemen here, and he's able to knock their hands down, disengage, swim, quick move. Watch his, watch his hands on this play. Slap, pull, I mean, everything immediately. That quarterback has to get off his platform and find somewhere else to go with the ball. Again, lineman's able to hold him up a little bit, but he's still, I mean, he's still a threat. Here's another game where he does basically the same. He's able to get in there, look at him, constantly driving the lineman backwards, lines up on the end here as a defensive end, slaps the hands down, able to get the sack on that. I mean, let, I mean, you just can't. You just can't beat that. Let's look at that one again. Lines up here, hands down, look at him. He's got leverage on him already. If that quarterback continues to drop, that's going to be a sack there. But he steps up, and Lewis is still able to get into him. So 
steps up. Lewis, look at those arms. <laughs> That's insane. His arms are so long. He's able to get that reach on him, and he's strong enough with one arm as he's being pushed away from the quarterback to hang on and, and secure the sack. So <clears throat> it shows you guys what this guy's made of. And I use line is pretty quick. I mean, even on that play right there, you see how quickly he disengages from from the lineman to be able to get his hands free and go after the quarterback. A lot of that from this guy, a lot of it. He lines up a lot in this game against IU as a, a 4-3 defensive end. <clears throat> Possibly what he would be in the NFL, I think he's best suited for that. I don't necessarily think he's one of the top interior uh, pass rushers or anything like that, but I think that he is best suited as a defensive end. Constant, I mean, this dude's relentless, always going after the quarterback, always getting a piece of him, it seems. Here we go, same thing. Quarterback just doesn't have the time to get the ball out, and especially when he's getting in there in two and a half seconds. Look, I love that one too. Nice being able to watch. Here it is. Quick able to get around that tackle and to be able to get some pressures to begin running in going inside as well again forcing pressure on this quarterback every time you gotta love that able to get out look at i love that one too see this is something that you see from guys that don't have a whole lot of experience okay you see this outside, the tackles assume he's going outside. He's up here, just so you know. And he's unable, that tackle is unable to keep him from stepping in and going through in the middle of the pocket as opposed to being on the outside of it. Gets through immediately. He's so strong and so tough. If you guys watched the Senior Bowl, you saw him. I mean, the guy has a ton of burst, too. When he's able to, there is another good example of it. That's a great rep right there for him as a pass rusher on the outside here's another one bull rush hands up knocks the ball down um that, that i mean that's affecting whether he's getting sacks or not that's affecting the play there it is too i mean if he hits that quarterback on that last play he's you know hurting him he's getting constant pressure on this i mean the tackle is basically not there if that quarterback hangs on to that ball for more than a couple seconds at a time that quarterback's getting lit up. Like I said, his length, his speed, his burst, his size, he's got it all. He's, what, 265, something like that. Not, maybe not quite 260, but I think he's over 6'3". Um, he's, he's got all the intangibles that you want. Like I said, the little things that you look for. I'm not super technical on these, but he's got the arm length, which allows him to disengage. He's got the hands uh, to be able to help him disengage from uh, tackles and linemen as well. He's got the strength and the brute force to be able to match up with the interior offensive linemen on stunts, on twists, on anything that he's going to be asked to do at the next level. And he's also got the speed and the burst to be able to beat tackles one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I think this guy's going to be like uh, I think he's going to be a really, really good ball player at the next level in the NFL. I'm kind of hoping that the Colts kind of look his way. I believe that he's probably going to be an um, early to mid-second round pick. Uh, I think that's where he's kind of being you know, tossed around right now. So looking at everything that he provides, I think he'd be a great addition. The Colts have uh, their interior right now, in my opinion. I think Al Woods is good. I don't think that the Colts would shy away from grabbing another one, whether in free agency or in the draft to an, a real true interior defensive lineman. And I don't think that the Colts would shy away from grabbing a guy like Taekwon Lewis here uh, who can be a legitimate defensive end uh, for them in any situation. He can be in there in sub packages. He can be in there running and passing downs because he's equally good at both, I think. Um, this guy, among some of the other ones that I've shown you guys in the past film rooms, um, he, he's just going to continue to be uh, a good ball player. I think when it comes down to it, you guys will see that this happens regardless of where he goes. So I uh, wanted to throw some tape on this guy up here for you guys to check him out, Tyquan Lewis from Ohio State. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and as always, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll start going to some other, uh, other positions of need here pretty soon for the Colts. So thank you guys all for listening, and we'll see you next time.